Photosynthesis begins when a photon of sunlight strikes chloroplasts inside the cells of a leaf. Within a chloroplast are chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B pigment molecules that absorb red and blue light waves. Also within chloroplasts are photosynthetic membranes called thylakoids, which contain photosystems 2 and 1, the electron transport chain, NADP reductase, and ATP synthase. When water molecules inside the lumen are stripped of their electrons, they break down into hydrogen ions and oxygen. The hydrogen ions remain inside the lumen, the oxygen passes out of the leaf, and the freed electrons enter photosystem II. When photonic energy is absorbed by P680, the reaction center of photosystem II, the electrons become excited and enter the electron transport chain. Here, the electrons are carried by plastoquinone, cytochrome, and plastocyanin until they reach photosystem I in a low energy state. While the electrons move along the electron transport chain, plastoquinone pulls hydrogen ions into the lumen. As the concentration of hydrogen ions inside the lumen increases, a concentration gradient is created. The membrane is not permeable to the hydrogen ions, so they must move through a membrane protein, ATP synthase, to reach the stroma. The passage of hydrogen ions through the ATP synthase releases energy that causes ADT to phosphorylate into ATP, a process known as chemiosmotic phosphorylation. The ATP remains in the stroma until used to make glucose during the Calvin cycle. When the low-energy electrons reach photosystem I, they again are excited when its reaction center, P700, receives photonic energy. The electrons are absorbed by FXFE4S4, which immediately passes them to ferrodoxin. The ferrodoxin sends them to ferrodoxin NADP plus reductase, which then reduces NADP plus in the stroma converting it to NADPH with the addition of hydrogen ions from the water surrounding the thylakoid. The NADPH remains in the stroma until used to make glucose.